Wow, I tell you, uh, I guess we're kind of limited on what we can do, thanks to the Dusties. They're hitting up the Sonic. You can't wait for the pizza in your car. You can't go to the store. You can't go shopping. And you know how you try to sell items out in public in the daytime in a public place? You can't even do that. It seems Dusty Dan and the Hood Man are back at it again. On the screen is the sheriff's office. Let's go ahead and get to this video. Fair use, people. Robbed and one of two suspects got away. Thankfully, no one was hurt. But many are wondering why deputies would choose a mall parking lot to carry out a dangerous operation. Let's go to Fox 13's Kelly Cowan. So, Kelly, what's the sheriff's office saying about this? Well, Linda, the sheriff's office is telling me that these crimes are often committed. These underground deals are committed in parking lots, and a lot of times they're done in broad daylight. So they're undercover officers who are trying to pose as potential buyers for illegal guns or drugs. Well, they need to go to the criminals where they're operating, and that's why they go to parking lots the majority of the time. But they also say they do their due diligence. They make sure to scout well ahead of time and the day of before the deal happens so that they can keep the public and their deputies safe. We kind of need to be prepared and flexible on the bad guy's schedule. Retired undercover deputy Andrew Baxter says if you're going to pose as a criminal, you need to play the part. In the movies, it's, uh, I mean, you like, you just go to the abandoned warehouse or you go to the wharf. Uh, it's just, it's it's not like that in the real world. In order to get the illegal goods and the bad Whoa. guys selling them, Undercover officers have to take risks. These transactions are going to happen whether it's with a deputy or not. We typically need an area where there are other cars around because if we have a situation like you saw last night where a suspect pulls out a gun on a deputy, mm. other deputies who are nearby need to be able to move in quickly in order to save that person's life. The sheriff's office says several man hours go into scouting and surveilling potential sites well ahead of any sting making sure everything is as safe as possible for both bystanders and law enforcement. In this case, we did just that. We knew that the employee parking lot had little to no people there prior to the transaction occurring. And for that reason, no one was injured in the process. But sometimes things do go wrong. The last time it happened for Hillsborough's undercover unit was in 2018, when a dealer and his accomplice were shot after they pulled a gun after a scuffle with an undercover deputy. Mm. But the sheriff's office says the busts are worth it. Since 2019, they've helped recover 65 illegal firearms. And perhaps more importantly, they've also put numerous illegal dealers behind bars. Just as in the drug game, you're always trying to get the bigger fish. And anytime you're able to do a hand-to-hand -hand, um, purchase of a firearm that you know is illegal coming from somebody who doesn't have a license to do so, then um, you're, you're working towards that bigger fish if you don't have one on the hook already. And while one suspect is behind bars who was involved in last night's bust, another is still on the run. The sheriff's office says they're looking for 19-year-old Jacob Riley. He's facing charges for armed robbery, five counts of attempted oh. murder of a law enforcement officer, and felony possession of a firearm. Anyone who knows where... So here you see Dusty Dan and Lil Hood, man. They're just, they're at, back at it again. They're just throwing their lives away. So here is supposed to be, I guess, selling a gun. And this is what Dusty Dan does. He going to sit up here and try to rob the, uh, the police officer. Isn't that something? It's supposed to be a gun purchase. Dusty Dan done pulled out done pull out his gun. In the daytime, these Dusties are desperate. They don't want to work. They want to sit up on their laser behind and just commit a crime. Can you imagine? This is on, and of course, the, the person here is the uh, undercover police officer. They got the right one. Now, the cop, of course, they can stay cool. This is nothing new to them. Imagine a normal person freak out, have a heart attack. A gun is pointing at you just like that. 
Dusty's being drama, they've been trauma. The financial implications is too much dust in the nation. We need police reform. We need dust reform. Oh, people say, oh, they're building less schools and building less prisons. Gee, I wonder why. Is there a greater plan? Yeah, but why fall into it? Back to my old video. ABC 123 Felony. This is what you have right here on the screen. Dusty Dan, ABC 123, mm -hmm. and now this fool has a felony. And the other dude, yo, your, your picture's right here, bruh. So two Dusty Dans. Another example, ABC 123 felony, and here's the last one. Facing a myriad of charges, just throwing your life away. Again, they don't want a job, but they want to rob. And this right here, they're saying, oh, why are the police putting out in the parking lot? Well, hell, they tell you to go to a public place. They have to. They're not going to tell you, to, oh, come to the police station. So to me, that's kind of dumb for the news to even ask that. They're trying to do this as a deterrent. But these dusties don't give a what. They still going to act up. Listen to the charges that he's facing, and this is somebody's baby. And Becky brother too. Oh well, Peter, you know, he's a good kid now, and they just always making up trouble just happened to find him. I've heard some stuff like that. Trouble just happened to find him wherever he go. Trouble find him. No, 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 no. Trouble is not finding Dusty Dan. Dusty Dan is causing trouble. Dusty Dan brings drama and trauma. The financial implications too much dust in the nation. We're going to have to feed Dusty Dan and probably Dusty Dan Jr. if he got somebody pregnant. Trouble just find him. I did the best I could, you know, and uh, that boy, just his head ain't right. Uh-huh. And he belongs in a prison night-night. People want to use his head. Just ain't right. Well, how was your head? Who you having by? You and your man. I did the best I could with him. Yep. Poverty D. And now you he's gone from ABC 123. Now we got a felony. So that's Dusty Dan. What's the little man facing? Tonight's bust. Another is still on the run. The sheriff's office says they're looking for 19 year old Jacob Riley. 19. He's facing charges for armed robbery, five counts of attempted murder of a law enforcement officer, and Ooh. felony possession of a, of a firearm. Attempted murder of the law of a uh, law officer of the cop. That's gotcha. Five. You got attempted murder. You got five. 19 years old. These dusties don't think. It would have been easier to just to get your dumb behind a job. You're not going to beat neither one of them. They're not going to beat this char these charges. He doesn't deserve a chance, my son. And out of all of that, don't be surprised. You might hear the, the, uh, me mock come up with, he don't know no better. Dusty's, they're anti-freedom. So Dusty Dan got the gun in your hand. You 19, you got the gun in your hand, sweetie. When you up in that jail cell, it's going to go a lot differently. A lot of them have the gun in their hand. Uh-huh. I'm running the show now. You're going to get into a whole other kind of show. You're not going to like You're going to be sitting on somebody's lap. Dusty Dan and Hood Band. The Dusties are at it again. I have no sympathy again. They don't want a job, but they will rob. And I'm willing to bet you, I mean, it's not the first time. That's why they got these prior accounts. They got the right one this time. Attempted murder on a cop. It's just a matter of time. Little 19, you can hide out in the hood for a little bit, but he will get God. I have no sympathy. Again, this is what you have, the seed of ignorant poverty D and poverty P. One, two, three, ABC felony, it grows up, and that's on the screen. I'm out.